Hello and welcome. Let's get started on that search bar now. So inside of components, we're not going to put this in header because I could see us reusing the search component. So I'm going to give it its own folder here called search. And inside there we'll make a component. It'll be called search.js. Let's get started on it by doing our imports of React and making our functional component. So const search is a fat arrow function and export default. The search. Cool. So let's take a look at what search looks like. It's going to be a rounded outside. It's going to have this icon inside of it and it'll say search in there. Okay, so let me go back. And we will bring this search in. We need a return. Now inside that return, we're going to use a form. So a form will need a class name and we'll just call it search underscore underscore form. We'll need an icon. So let's grab the icon that we need. Uh, let's import it. We will import IOIOS search from React icons. Perfect. And that's the first thing that we'll put in there is that icon. Let's give it a class name. It'll be search underscore underscore icon. After that, we need our input. So we will write input. So this is just how we made the buttons before, but this will be different. So first, just do the class name, that's search. And now let's do a type. The input type now is going to be text. We need a placeholder, just like before the, oh boy. The placeholder will be search in lowercase. And then just close up that input and save it. Now let's bring that search into our header. That's in the header center it'll be. So let's make a header center. Header center dot js and import react from react. And we need to import our search. Up one into search and then search. Okay, so const header center is a fat arrow function and we will export default header center. Okay, so let's bring it in here first. We'll bring a return statement in here. And inside of our return statement, we'll have a div, a class name, and this could be our header center class. And just the search that we made. Okay, let's bring it into our header where our header center is. Header center, perfect. And again, I'm using auto import, so if you need to write this out, just import header center from dot slash header center. Let's take a look at that. Oh, failed to compile uh, is not, oh, that's true. That's a mistake. Go back to search. Uh, when I typed React icons, that's just fine. What needs to happen is I need to actually name the library too. The library is IO. There we go. All right, so now we do have a search on the screen. It's right here. There is our icon, there is our search bar. Let's get started styling it. Head over to SCSS and let's make a new file called search underscore search dot SCSS. The first thing we'll do is import. So at import Let's get those variables in here. Perfect. And now we'll have a dot search 
We'll open that up. And before we do anything else, let's bring this into our main file. So at import dot slash and their search. Great, I'm going to split the terminals and run my styling command, which was yarn run scss. And we can save it. Okay, now inside of search, let's do something to make sure this is working. Let's give it a width of 28 rem and a height of 3 rem. And I'm missing a semicolon right here. Cool. Let's see what we have. There we go. Now we affected the height and the width of this. Let's do a little bit more work on it. I'm going to do a border. Here's a border that we're picking. So it'll be two pixels, a solid border, and it'll be the color black. Cool, now it's much thicker. Let's round it out with our border radius. Border radius 10 rem again. Good, now it's starting to look better already. Let's keep going with the out. This has an outline too, just to show you. I wanna get rid of that outline on these inputs. So let's get rid of that outline. Outline none. Okay, now that is gone. Now, important here is the focus, because now that there's no outline when you're on it, it's impossible to really know that you're in there unless you see the blinking that's inside of there. So let's first actually change the outline while it, when it's focused. So we'll head down here, we'll write end, and then focus, and we'll do our focus styling. What I wanna do is change the border. So the border now will be two pixels still, so it doesn't change that way, but it'll be solid, and then it'll be that blue color. So color, blue, light. Let's take a look. There we go. Now it's in focus, now it's out of focus. Now we know when it's highlighted because we're getting feedback. The cursor looks really bad because it's way too far to the left. I'm going to move it off of the left here on focus as well. Uh, let's put a padding left of uh, four rem, really move that off. There we go, that looks good. So, okay, we'll have to get rid of that search when we uh, click in here, but that's a cool place to be starting the search. That looks pretty good. Let's get rid of that now. So while we're focused, we wanna say end, and this will be two colons, then placeholder. and make the color of the placeholder transparent. And do we have one of those? I think we do. Let me check, color dash transparent. Oh, there's three semicolons, only supposed to be two, cool. Okay, now it's gone when you click into it. There's no more search on the screen. Search needs to move off as well, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's do the placeholder. So right now we're in search and we're in focus and on focus, this is what we wanna do with the placeholder. I know there's a few levels of abstraction at this point. What I want is the search placeholder, not when it's focused, just when it's a placeholder. So I'm just going to go end placeholder. Now inside of there, let's move it over a little bit. So we'll do the padding left, just like we had on the other one. Let's try for rem. Cool, that's starting to look better. Let's do a font size, 1.5 rem. So I'm pretty happy with that placeholder right now. We need this icon to move into the box. That's what we have here and that'll make this kind of look like it's starting at the right place. Right now it seems like it's too far, but once we move this icon over, it's going to look good. So let's work on the icon next. So that'll be search and icon. So that's the end of search. So end underscore underscore icon position. So we're going to use an absolute positioning again. So we need to take it out of the flow because we want to put it inside of that search bar there. The height will be two rem. The width will be two rem. 
And now we need to move it a little bit. So let's see where it is right now so we know exactly what we're doing. It is absolute, but there it is hugging a corner over there. We want to put it right in the middle, like right here. So let's do that work right now. So we'll translate. Actually, we need to write transform first, sorry. Transform, then translate. And let's just use the X for right now. We'll move the X over one rem. That's looking right there. That looks really good to me. We might need to move it down a bit too. It looks like we do. So I'm not going to put translate X, just translate one rem comma, how about two pixels? That did move it down, okay, but not enough, so 0.5 rem. Cool, that looks pretty centered in that box there. Yes, it does, okay, great. So we might not style that form that we made. We might not need to uh, right here. The form is here for another reason. It's because I want to be able to just press enter and for a search to happen. And that's not the case usually in React. And we're actually going to write our first function to test this out and make sure our search is submitting properly. So let's make our first function. It's going to be called const submit form. It's going to take an E, that means the event. You get a lot of information from the event. And now on default, the event will trigger the page to reload. So we need to write E prevent default, and that's E dot prevent default. And that is a function, so just call it. Next, we will console.log, enter, pressed. Uh, this is when you uh, press return or you press enter, whatever it might be. Uh, it's going to submit the form. So let's make sure it's doing that right in our form here. We're going to make an on submit. In here, what we want to do is equal it to brackets, these curly braces here. So the curly braces will take in an anonymous function. It will take E as an argument, meaning the event and then we will pass it the submit form uh, function and we will give it E. So what happens here is when this is clicked, the submit form function gets E, it will take E, it will prevent the default, then it will console log enter pressed so that this form can be used just by pressing enter. Now we'll get this off the page, we'll bring up the, here we are, and let's type something in and press enter. Enter pressed. Okay, so this is working properly. We'll be able to trigger events by just typing and pressing enter here rather than typing, then going to a submit button. But there's still some problems with our page, especially when it gets smaller. That search bar is too big for a page this small. So let's start with that and do some of our responsive design stuff starting in search. Now inside of search, under search itself, we're going to start our responsive design because we just need to make it smaller. So we'll do an at include LG. And inside of LG, we will pass in a width of 25 rem. So when it gets to the large breakpoint, it'll go to 25 rem. And we'll do this two more times for medium and small. MD and SM. The width will be 20 here, and the width will be 15 here. Let's see that resizing. That's great. That can get real small now and still look pretty good. Good. Very good. I think that is resizing pretty well for us. We might later on want to resize a little more, but I think it looks pretty great. Now we have our header here, our logo is looking good. We have our search bar, which is also looking good, giving us some feedback. We have the cart, and let me take this off so we can see the changes. We have the cart, which will give us a feedback that we can press it, and the login button that changes completely like that. We did a lot of work there and it does look very good. All right, well, great job on this one. This looks really good and follow me to the next one because we have a lot more to do.